Hello, how are you all doing? It's so, uh, it's so great to be here, so great to see you all. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different, but before, uh, before I do that, uh, I want to, uh, want to show you a video. This is a video that maybe uh, this guitar isn't on, just so you know. Uh, this is a video maybe you all saw. It's from uh, a show called Ecuador's Got Talent. Any of you guys see this? It was a, um, it was a woman on Ecuador's Got Talent. I want to address it. Uh, after you've seen this video. This guitar will come on soon, I suppose. And um, so let's just run the video. This is a video you should all watch of Ecuador's Got Talent. This was this year. Uh, go ahead, can you run the video? ¿Tú crees en Dios? No. Pues debería empezar cuenta? a creer, mamita, para ver si hace mi grito. Sin Dios no llegamos a ningún lado. Por eso es que tú crees que siendo autodidáctica vas a llegar a la cima. Y no lo vas a hacer. ¿Sabes por qué? Porque hay cosas que no se ven. Entonces ahí entra la, el amor a Dios. Y Dios, lo, Dios se siente, Dios te puede ayudar, Dios te ayuda a ser mejor. Ok, este, bueno, y es, yo respeto tu, tu, eh, si crees o no, eso es respetable. Este, pero sí, sí, te siento, yo te apreté la X porque siento que, que aquí en este programa, ahora, a estas alturas, necesitamos excelencia. Y yo no, tiene una bonita voz, pero no creo que esa voz, así que también te desafinaste, llegues a ganar el cuadro de talento. Mi amor, Carolina, eres hermosa. Solamente quiero saber, ¿por qué no crees en Dios? Una curiosidad para mí, o sea, no te juzgo, ¿ah? ¿eh? Ojo. No, en Dios. No, no, solo no, no me he dado la... O sea, no, no tengo, no me he dado eso para creer, o sea. ¿Y qué crees? ¿De dónde venimos? Yo creo que uno se muere y se vuelve lo que era antes de nacer. ¿Y qué era antes de nacer? antes de nacer. ¿Qué no era nada. Pues, no era nada. No era Ay, nada. Yo creo que aún tienes 16 años y yo pienso que has tenido tal vez muchísimas cosas bonitas en tu vida, pero llega un momento en el que sufres tanto que lo único que te lleva de verdad a continuar es el amor impresionante a Dios. Y eso lo adquieres a veces cuando estás en situación muy difícil. Bueno, bueno, vamos a votar. ¿Y le va a seguir con la elección esta vez? ¿Te toca? ¿Te toca a usted? Por un lado, no. hoy no. Eh, Carolina. ¿Cree en Dios usted? Por supuesto, creo mucho en Dios. La primera pregunta que le preguntaron en una singing competition fue: ¿Do you believe in God? Uh, and she answered very politely, very quietly, with a great deal of grace: she answered, uh, no. And then the judge did a rather long uh, attack where she said that uh, Carolina would have uh, no luck in life. She couldn't sing because she didn't have God with her. And without God, she wasn't going to go anywhere. And this uh, girl stood there with poise and grace while these, uh, this woman attacked her. Then that one judge finished attacking Carolina, and the next judge started. And the next judge started ripping her to pieces for not believing in God. They did not address her song or her singing. They just yelled at her for not believing in God. And she stood there with no apologies. She stood there with, uh, she didn't cry. Uh, she wasn't a crybaby about it. She just stood there and looked at these monsters attacking her. Well, the, uh, the video kind of went around the world and a lot of people saw it. And, uh, Eventually, I'm very happy to say the judges who attacked her were fired. They were thrown off the show. But I'm still very, very troubled by how she was greeted and how she was uh, uh, treated on Ecuador's Got Talent. And I thought that maybe, just maybe, this crowd here would treat her a little better. Ladies and gentlemen, Carolina Pena! And speaking of heroes, like Carolina, uh, I, I was, I'm sorry, I was friends with Christopher Hitchens. 
And, um, you know, Christopher really should be here. And, uh, one day, uh, Hitch said to me about the atheist movement, and I, I know he said this in books, and I know he said this in lectures in public, but I want to pretend he said it just to me. He said about the atheists, we have no martyrs, we have no saints. And I thought it was the most profound thing I'd ever heard. So I went home that night. As you all know, I'm not a songwriter, I'm not a guitar player, and I'm not a singer. But I went home that night and I wrote a song called No Martyrs, No Saints for Christopher Hitchens. And uh, Carolina was kind enough to um, say she'd sing it with me. We're going to sing it in Spanish and in English. Um, Naib Estefan did most of the translation into Spanish. This is a song for Christopher Hitchens featuring my uh, new friend Carolina. Uh, it's for all the atheists. It's called No Martyrs, No Saints. And if you forget, it says it on my guitar strap. <laughs> dead with no God on our side. No perfect plan, no everlasting life. I'm okay with those constraints. All our own suffering, but all our own joy. We have no martyrs. We have no saints. We have no martyrs. We have no saints. No cross to bear, but we still have some complaints. We get depressed, life 
does get rough, but everything in the world is enough. Everything, every goddamn thing is enough. Can't leave the pain, yeah. <laughs>